Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man, and I'm back at you with another video, man. New media, notification gang, God Squad, it's what it is, man. Who you got? Carnelo Triple G, man. Who I got? Same person I had the first fight. Nah, I'm playing. First fight I had Triple G at first. When I had, when that fight was first announced, I picked Triple G, no Holly. I picked Triple G, no Holly. When I saw the fight, I scored it. The first time I watched the fight, I scored it round by round. I had Canelo winning the fight. 119-116. No, it was 119-117. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. My bad. It was 119-117 Canelo. Because I gave Canelo the last round. I gave him that last round. Like the last, the round, the 11th round I gave Triple G. The 10th round I had gave Canelo. And the 12th round I gave Canelo. And by Canelo winning the 12th round... Is pretty much what gave him the fight on my on my scorecard. Now, what that bitch had, I don't know what the fuck that bitch saw. I don't know where the fuck her brain was at. I don't know what the fuck was wrong with her vision that night. But I didn't see what she saw. I saw a close fight, and I agree that it that was that in the outcome. Like I didn't feel like that was bad. That it was a draw. It was a close fight. It was a close fight. It was a good fight. I'm picking Canelo to win this fight. Last time, I picked Triple G. He didn't win. I'm picking Canelo because I feel that Canelo is really putting in that work. I know some of y'all going to say the shit about the meat thing and all that bullshit. I know y'all going to be on that hype. But looking at him train... Watching damn near every video and following him on Twitter and Instagram looking at him put that work in even after a knee surgery type shit I really feel like and he looked better Carnelo looks a lot better than he did the last fight in camp He looks a lot better and people tend to sleep on the fact that Carnelo fought Floyd Mayweather Triple G ain't Floyd Mayweather you got to understand that experience. There is no fighter that Canelo has fought that is harder to hit than Floyd Mayweather. Canelo will never fight a fighter that is harder to hit than Floyd Mayweather. Never. Okay? So, that experience alone is why I'm going with him. Because he stood he stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with him pretty much the first fight. And I don't mean like in the center ring, they trade and punch toe-to-toe. -to -toe. What I mean is... He didn't get dropped. He really didn't get hurt. You could tell he felt some shit like, oh, that, that one hurt. I felt that. But he wasn't hurt. You know what I'm saying? He never seemed or appeared hurt. So he could stand with, with Triple G for 12 rounds. He could do that. I think with this fight, he worked on a lot of his strength. So a lot of the punches that he hit Triple G with last fight, he planned on hurting them with them punches this fight. Canelo looks in great shape. He looks like he's willing and ready to throw more punches. And he's even willing to trade a little bit. Not recklessly with Triple G. But he looking a lot fresher. I think uh, Canelo is going to be the sharper of the two. Only reason why I say this is because Abel Sanchez is a shitty ass trainer. He likes to take already finished projects. And then, you know, because Triple G already has skill before he got with Abel. Don't let that shit fool you. Abel don't know shit. Because if you look at Triple G, Triple G got real good boxing skills. He not no reckless brawler just going to walk in with his head down and brawl with you. No, he do got some good boxing skills. He got a real good jab. Real good jab. Triple G jab is nice. Hats off. But um, Triple G don't got no defense. He has no defense defense he got a good chin but he don't got no defense you know what i'm saying and that is going to cost him in this fight because now canelo know he ain't got no defense he can be hit often so now i know i can hit this dude he ain't floyd nobody has been harder to hit for canelo than floyd once again triple g Ain't Floyd. Canelo got better footwork 
than Triple G. Triple G is really good at cutting off the ring, but he don't got no head movement. Canelo got head movement and is a really good counter puncher. There's no way Triple G is going to get out of this fight on his feet. Triple G going down. Mark my words. Triple G is going to see the canvas. He's going to see it. He's going to catch one and he's going to sit his ass down. I don't think Canelo going to knock him out. If he do, great. But I think Canelo going to drop him. Canelo going to put him on his ass. Just like I told y'all that Mikey Garcia was going to put Easter on his ass. And hell of you motherfuckers talking about how, how Easter got a chin. Easter ain't going out like that. And what the fuck happened? Mikey put Easter on his ass. I told y'all. I told y'all. Telling y'all right now. Canelo is going to put Triple G on his ass. Because Canelo is the more fundamentally sound fighter. He has better feet than, than uh, Triple G. And he has better head movement than Triple G. So a lot of the punches that he even might have hit Carnelo with last fight, Triple G not going to hit him with them same punches. Because Carnelo got good head movement. Mind you, he sparred him too. So he got a lot of experience being in the ring with Triple G. You know what I'm saying? So it's, I just don't see Triple G breaking Carnelo down with pressure. Because Canelo is the kind of fighter, he that's that's his forte. That's what he do. He loves them come forward pressure fighters because it just make him counter better. Because he's a natural counter fucking puncher. So you might as well say Triple G is tailor made for Carnelo. If you look at them stylistically. Because I don't see Triple G doing anything different than what he's always done. Come forward, cut the good at great at cutting the ring off. And keep constant pressure on you. Because that'll wear you down mentally and physically too. Somebody just constantly in your face. Constantly, constantly. Like you can't get a breather. You can't get away from them. They're just constantly there forcing the fight, forcing the fight. That's tiring. And I think that's what Triple G is going to bank on. But he not going to bank on Carnelo's punching power. Because Triple G comes forward recklessly. You know what I mean? He comes forward with a sense of like, yeah, you hit me. You hit me. But I'm going to hit you harder. You know, he, he comes forward reckless in that sense. He don't come reckless like, I don't care what you hit me with, I'm still throwing. Like, no, nah, he'll come in, poop, poop, eat a jab or two, and then bust you. But the thing is, when he's throwing, he, he's open. That's something I learned from my boxing coach, Paul Wade. Shout out Paul Wade, Third Street Boxing, is that when you're throwing, you open. You know, and like I said to you before, Triple G don't have no defense. Triple G don't move his head. He don't slip. None of that. He just standing in a straight line. So he basically banking on his feet and his punching power to basically wear you down and beat you. Now, what is Triple G going to do when him cutting the ring off don't work and his punching power ain't enough? Or when his punching power is minimized because he ain't hitting shit. It's like a person saying he got hella power. He hit hella hard, but he got to hit you. What's the point of him having all that power if he's not hitting you? You know what I'm saying? So if Triple G ain't hitting Carnelo, his punch of power don't mean shit. His feet don't mean nothing. Yeah, he can get in position, but he's not hitting that. He's hitting air. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going with Carnelo to win the fight. Who you got? Let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this video, man. Holla at your boy. You already know what it is, man. It's your boy, DT3. New media, notification game, God Squad. It's what it is, man. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time I hit y'all with some.